find the value of p for which one root of the quadratic polynomial is six times the other. So first of all, we have to define what are the roots. So let roots be alpha and beta. So first of all, let me tell you, it is not necessary that it is always alpha beta. You can take M, N, P, Q, quotients will come in that form also. Okay, now the last part of the question is saying one root is six times the other. Okay, therefore alpha equals to six times beta. Can I say that? Okay. If you want to write beta equals to six time alpha, that is also correct. But this, I hope this information is clear. Yeah. One root, that means any one root alpha is six times the other, six multiplied by other. So this is done. Now question is saying, this is the quadratic equation. So let me just focus on that. This is the quadratic equation. And as soon as we are given with a quadratic equation, we are going to find sum and product. So first of all, okay. help me with A, B, and C in this. A, uh, a B, and C. A is what? A is B. B is what? Minus uh, 14. And C Minus is 14. And C is what? 8. 8. So this thing is important for us. So we will be using this. Okay. So let me just color this thing. Okay. So that we can focus it again. Now, so we are going to calculate sum and product. Sum is what? Sum of zeros. Alpha beta is minus by alpha plus beta equals to minus b by a. Now in the next line, I'm going to substitute. Alpha value is what? Six times beta. Six times beta plus beta equals to. B value is what? Minus minus 14 upon p. Is this thing clear? Yes. Yes. So six, six times beta plus beta. What is the answer for that? Seven beta. Very good. Seven beta equals to 14 upon P. So keep this as it is. I can't solve it further as of now. Now I will be focusing on product. Product. Alpha into beta is what? C upon A. B by A. First, first step is formula. And now I will substitute instead of alpha, I will be writing six beta multiply by beta equals to C value is what? Eight upon P. Okay. Clear? Yes. Yeah. So six beta square equals to eight upon P. Now both the equations have beta also and P also. So I can just substitute some one value, beta value in this thing and find out. So from here, I can calculate beta value as 14 upon P multiply 1 upon 7. 7 and this 2 cancel, beta value is 2 upon P. Clear? I will substitute this value over here. Clear? Okay. So 6 multiplied 2 upon p whole square equals to 8 upon p. So let us solve this thing a little bit further. So 6 multiplied 4 upon p square equals to 8 upon p. So I'll just do the cross multiplication over there. So what will happen? 6 into 4 is what? So I don't need to do that upon 8 P square upon P. 
I hope it is clear. So this is one, this is two, this is three. On the left hand side, I am getting three. On the right hand side, P and square getting cancelled. That would be P. Basically, base same power subtract. So P value is coming out to be three. I hope it is clear now what needs to be done. So I'm just giving you a glimpse. You can take a screenshot. If there's any doubt, you can ask. Always remember how to approach these questions. First thing is you need to find some end product. Okay. Okay. 